if you have this washer and it's leaving stains on your clothes, it stinks or it's making a crunching sound, we're gonna pop this cap off, get a 716 socket, remove the bolt that holds on the plate. Um, sometimes this plate can be a real pain in the butt to get off. It was for me this time. Sometimes I've pulled them straight off. Uh, but a pair of vice grips are a good friend and some PB blaster, flathead screwdriver, and a rubber mallet, as you can see. Uh, I just kind of work it out. There's no real rhyme or reason. I don't, there's no special tools to get them out as far as I know. But I condensed this 15 seconds from about 15 or 30 minutes, I don't remember. Um, but see these coins in here? They can definitely trick you and make you think that your bearing's going out uh, or the gears. And really all it'll be sometimes is just these coins. Uh, I find all kinds of little treasures in these little holes here. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean this shaft off, get all this hair off. That was really gross. I can't believe I said that. Um, but yeah, all kinds of treasures. Like I said, you never know what you'll find in there. I recommend using vinegar. I thought this was the lavender or vinegar I have but apparently it wasn't and I just now saw that um then you just wipe it out real good clean it real good scrub the bottom of the plate off you know you want to get rid of all that stuff that causes the stains and the stink and we're going to put our bolt back in put our cap back in kind of smack it down make sure it's on there good plug it back in very important part you have to calibrate every time you do anything to this machine if you have a load go off balance you have to recalibrate this machine if you didn't catch it in this video i have a separate video and a playlist on six light machines of how to do that i um, just want to show you here it's silent so there you go